Yo, what up? This is your boy Johnny Fastlane, and this is the weekend wrap up. Why did Finn Lucci and Young Thug go at it on social media, right? And this is like round 10 because they've been going back and forth for like a couple years now, right? Both of them are from Atlanta and I'm sure they're going to run into each other one day, right? But why Finn Lucci gives an interview saying that he slept with Young Thug's girl, right? Then Young Thug goes on Instagram and says, I would have been killed you if I didn't like what you did for your kids and for your mama, right? And then Young Thug does an interview himself where he was asked about the beef between him and why Finn Lucci and he says that he has no beef for wife and Lucci and that he hopes wife and Lucci gets richer than him. So I don't know. So, Boosie gets hit with two felony marijuana drug charges. And this is crazy because he got pulled over back in April. He had a cartridge on him. He had a little bit of weed on him and also a gun. In the state of Georgia, I guess they don't care about guns because they dropped the gun charge. But he has two felony uh, charges due to the little char uh, cartridge of weed oil and also the less than a gram of weed that he had on him, right? I don't think that Boosie's probably going to do any jail time. and He could actually probably pay his way out of this. But for now, those are the charges that he's got. So, 50 Cent throws a huge party last weekend for Tycoon Weekend, right? And all this was building up to the premiere of Power, which was on Tuesday. So, Saturday, he did something at Pier 115 in New York. Sunday, he did something at Club Slate. I think Monday, he chilled and didn't do nothing. But Tuesday was the premiere of Power at Madison Square Garden. And then there was an after party at Slate, too. Um, and now, today is actually the premiere of Power on Stars, right? And it was crazy because mad people was there. A Boogie with the hoodie, Casanova, Fabulous, YFN Lucci, Snoop Dogg, even Wendy Williams tried to get into the party, which was crazy because y'all know Wendy Williams and 50 Cent been trolling each other on social media for like the past year, so why would Wendy Williams think that she could ever go into a, a, a 50 Cent party, but hey, she tried. Remy Ma defends Nicki Minaj and this is crazy because you know Remy Ma and Nicki got beef beef right but you know I guess she's kind of lightening up and kind of trying to understand where Nicki Minaj was coming from so yeah remember like I said Joe Button and Nicki Minaj they interviewed each other on Joe Button's podcast and on Nicki Minaj's Queen Radio right Nicki Minaj went off on Joe Button on Queen Radio was cursing him out kept turning the mic off and then when Joe Button went on State of the Culture on Monday Remy Ma had something to say about it and actually she was kind of defending Nicki Minaj a little bit and saying that I could understand where Nicki Minaj is coming from especially if you put your blood sweat and tears into your art craft only for somebody to kind of shit on it and talk trash about it right and then Joe Budden said hmm that's a mature outlook on it maybe you and Nicki Minaj should actually patch up your beef and Remy Ma said I would be happy to see that happen so you know what I'll be happy to see that happen too let's see what the future holds DJ Academics goes off on Nicki Minaj, all right? So during last week, you know, the whole interview with Joe Button and Nicki Minaj, when Nicki Minaj was cursing out Joe Button, she was actually cursing out Academics too, right? And this is crazy because even though that was last week, this week, you know, uh, Academics went on Twitch. He had a little bit of Hennessy. He had a little bit of Patron. And he was sipping. And he went off on Nicki. Basically saying her music is whack. Nobody wants to hear you go. Bra, 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 bra. <laughs> he was saying that, you know, you're washed up. You're stale. You rap about the same thing all the time. Uh, and he even told her, stop acting like you're from Jamaica. And stop using Jamaican culture to push your music. Saying that she's not really from Jamaica. She's from Trinidad. And Academics was like, I'm from Jamaica. Kodak Black shows up to court on felony gun charges, right, in the state of Florida. He's still in jail, but previously he pled not guilty to these charges. Well, he changed his plea to guilty, which is kind of weird. Like, why would you plead not guilty and then turn it and plead guilty? So I guess maybe he's working on some kind of deal that he can actually cut with the DA or somebody maybe to get a lighter sentence or maybe no sentence at all or maybe get time served because he just switched his plea and basically admitted like, yeah, I did falsify this documentation so that I could buy these three guns. So we'll see what happens with that. Sway Lee goes off on Joe Button, right? So about a week ago, Sway Lee and Drake released a new song called Won't Be Late. And it's kind of like Afro beat sounding. It kind of sounds like Unforgettable with French Montana. And Joe Button just basically said that the song was horrible and that uh, Sway Lee and Drake are both chasing a sound that came from a moment and that they shouldn't keep on trying to just repeat, you know, lightning in a bottle, right? So Sway Lee goes off on Joe Button on live, basically saying, keep my name out 
out your mouth. We're not trying to repeat a sound. And I'm a great songwriter. And to make songs like this is easy for me. And you just an old head and you don't feel a new vibe. T Grizzly was the target of a shooting. So the whole situation is T Grizzly and his aunt were sitting in their Escalade, just kind of talking and laughing or whatever, right? When somebody walks up to the vehicle and opens fire. The police believe that T Grizzly was the target of the shooting, but he actually escaped the shooting unscathed. Unfortunately, his aunt and his manager, Jobina Brown, actually was hit and killed. And she was mad young too. She was only 41 years old. So this is crazy, man. And my thoughts and my prayers go out to T Grizzly and our RIP to his aunt, Jobina Brown. Once again, this is Johnny Fastlane with the weekend wrap up. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell. Peace.